made a nostalgic but controversial return to Scunthorpe yesterday. Keegan turned out as a guest player in a Scunthorpe United side as a favour to the club which launched his professional career. A celebrity game marked the opening of Scunthorpe's new stadium, but the event was boycotted by Labour councillors who were angry that Keegan has recently been coaching football in South Africa. Keegan later called the decision childish and selfish, but it failed to mar the historic occasion, the first new football league ground to be built for 40 years. This report now from Mick Casey. It was all a bit like cup final day really, with the red carpet on the pitch and the players being introduced to royalty for Princess Alexandra, who earlier officially opened the two and a half million pound showpiece ground. It was obviously a relaxing afternoon and a chance to hear stories about the new and old Scunthorpe United grounds from so many famous football faces. Scunthorpe holds many memories for you, particularly the, the old showground, I presume? Yeah, many, yeah. I've just been up there and had a look. They've, all my memories have been buried under about 20 tonnes of cement and it's going to be a supermarket. But uh, Obviously very nostalgic going back up there. It's the first time, it's only the second time I've ever been back and the first time I, I, I really had a chance to look round, you know. And um, Yeah, it meant a lot to me, Scunthorpe. You know, it, it was, I'd spent four great years up at the old showground and learnt my trade there, as they say. And when I was at Lincoln, we've been in the Lincolnshire Cup quite a few times and in the fourth division, and it was, uh, it was always a very friendly ground, and, you know, this one's no different. Did you actually ever play at the old Scunthorpe showground? Uh, yes, I think once, I think, many years ago. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was for, but uh, uh, I don't think there was a big crowd, so I don't think it was a cup match or anything. Club officials who'd seen the ground quite literally appear from a muddy field only a year ago were delighted with the turnout from the crowd and the performance on the pitch of so many star players. But what about the fans themselves? What did they think of the club's new home? I'm very impressed with it. Very good girl. Particularly in the short space of time, I think you're doing a marvellous job. You look as though you might have seen a few games at the old showground. Uh, everyone. How does it compare with the old showground? I think it's better. Yeah, I do. It's not as big, but it's better for us lot. More of an atmosphere. You're quite impressed with the facilities? Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, but uh, how long will stop as good as this? That was amazing to be seen, isn't it? Were you a fan at the old showground? Oh, yeah, I had to go to the last match, yeah. We used to do a lot of our court courting days at the old showground. So I had to go for the last match. It was a memorable match. You probably won't recognise this but you'll certainly recognise the face, our own John Helm. John, you're one of the many celebrities taking part today. What's your impressions of the ground? Well, I think it's uh, marvellous to be here and to be able to be part of history. And I think the ground is so tidy, compact, neat. It's definitely got to be the thing of the future. It's a purpose-built stadium, big enough for the club playing as they are in the lower reaches of the Football League. And I think they've done it superbly. As for the game itself, no one was really counting the score, but rumour has it the Celebrity 11 trounced Scunthorpe 5-1. But as the players left the field, clearly the real winner was Glanford Park.